So let's take a look at these negative vectors and then what the meaning is. If you're walking into physics, you're going to have to at some point, okay, be facing vectors and understand the difference between a positive okay, and then a negative vector. So in general, when you do set and you start talking about physical quantities and their measurements, many of them will be in vector form. So vector just simply means that you have some kind of a magnitude, typically it's some kind of a number with a unit. And the vector component means that you are actually faced with a particular direction. So you are understanding that you will be going in a particular direction. Now, one of the easiest way to understand it is if you, let's say, are moving along and here I have a number line and I make the number line and I say, you know, east is to the right. Okay, so you can say east or you can say you're moving right, okay? And then the opposite one will be west, you know, or moving left, for instance. Well, this is just a convention, so we just set this. Now, it is always with respect to some kind of a reference. And here, you know, so our reference is gonna be some kind of a starting point where we typically, you know, label it as just zero. Okay, and if you're standing at that particular point, all right, your reference, okay, can be managed. Now, if you keep moving to the right, okay, or if you're going east, you can say that, okay, well, you know, let's say I have moved and now my position maybe is somewhere over here. So now with respect to the reference, right, so if you draw, Okay, we typically like to draw vectors with some kind of a, a line. So you have this, this is the tail, this is the head of the actual vector. But the way that you would write it is you would say, okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, right? Now that you would have some kind of a unit, so maybe this is kilometers. And this particular number, so five kilometers, the way that it's written, Okay, um, would just be a scalar. It doesn't have necessarily a direction. But if you're referring it to the reference of zero and moving east, so as soon as you you know put typically we'll put it in brackets here, so e for east. Okay, or you can you know write okay r for maybe going to the right. So this would mean that you have a position that you have set yourself up on. Okay, and all it means is it is five kilometers away from your reference, which is your starting point. And now in this case, it's to the right or to the east. Okay, and that would be positive. Now, the, you know, what throws students off, okay, is the following, that if you, for instance, you know, go in this direction, okay, and now you kind of move this, okay, and you're going in that direction, so again, you can count this and you can say this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. So this would be four kilometers. And if you put west, you know, students don't really have a big deal with that as a vector. But this, okay, is equal to the same thing as saying negative four kilometers east. And you might say, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going west or at least I'm set west with respect to the reference. Yes, that is correct. Now, what happens is that the negative, and this is the you know negative vector, so the idea with this, is that the negative actually is not just attached to the number, it is an actual direction. So it means the opposite, okay, of what you made your positive direction as. So for us, we've made east, to be positive, right? So as you're moving in this direction, this is all positive. But that's just as a reference. That's what we made it. And now, if you are going to be anywhere in here, so all of these values, okay, would be positive with respect to the reference on the east side. Now, if you say you're moving east, okay, and you're going four kilometers, then obviously this would mean that you would be four over here. But as soon as you put negative, okay, it takes the vector and it takes the opposite. So it means, okay, that now you're not gonna be going in the positive direction, you are gonna be moving in the negative direction, right? So that's what this means. So the opposite, okay, of what you said 
as positive. Okay, so this actually is attached to the direction right here. So indeed, you can write it as four kilometers and say west, or you can say negative four kilometers east, and the negative just simply means that it's in the opposite direction. So that's what you would have. So if, for instance, you would state in here, and you would make it, you know, negative 2.5 kilometers west, all right? So all that means is that your west, which would take you in this particular direction, right? So that's going west. But as soon as you make this negative, right? So it actually negates the direction. So this is the same thing as saying 2.5 kilometers actually east. All right. So these opposite vectors you should be comfortable with as you're walking into physics. Okay, and you should kind of be able to know and draw. So don't think as the negative when you are referring to vectors, okay, as a negative number, for instance, you know, if it's a negative temperature or something like that. Now think of them as an actual direction, okay, opposite to whatever you have chosen, okay, the positive to be, right? So this is what you would have, all right? So if you wanna be able to state negative 2.5 kilometers west okay so you can draw 2.5 kilometers west but as soon as you see the negative that means you're going to negate it back all right so you would be taking this vector so well two two and a half kilometers would be about here so it's about halfway through but now okay what you're going to do is you're going to say oh okay so it's i'm going west but it's in the negative direction boom okay and it would swing back in that way so that's what you have so, you know, if I would ask you, again, just to close off the video, you know, so what would this be if I gave you negative 10, you know, kilometers, and let's make it up, all right? So let's make this direction up. You can go up or north or south. So the way that you view it is, you view this as your regular vector. So this would just mean you would be going 10 kilometers up, right? So this is 10 kilometers up. But because of the negative in front, it negates this. So it takes the opposite, okay? So it actually would swing, okay, and be 10 in this way. That's all that it means. And if you wanted to write it, you could, of course, if you don't want this negative, you can just say this is 10 kilometers down. And now you have the direction. So these two are identical. So with vectors and directions, please be careful. Okay, so you have one, a direction coming from here, and this negative also is a direction. This just means the opposite of whatever it is that you're moving here, which is down. Here, if you're moving along, okay, this negative means that it's the opposite of your direction. So if it's opposite of west, that means it's east and the negative is gone. So I hope that you have found this useful. This is going to be a very important item for you so that you don't get caught off guard okay, in your physics classes as you move on. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in a future video. Bye, everybody.